drummers and hoop dancers you see rehearsing here at Portage Place Mall are getting ready for the gala opening of the Winnipeg Aboriginal Film and Video Festival. More than 100 titles will be screened at the festival this year, but one of its most successful programs is a pitch contest to allow young Aboriginals to tell their stories. And as you're about to see, the taste of success couldn't be any sweeter for one of last year's winners. Hi, Paula. Chatting with friends. Hey, Kat. <laughs> Walking tall, smiling. These simple social pleasures were almost foreign to 17-year-old Stanley Wood a little more than a year ago. I was teased a lot for many reasons. And that sort of evolved into my own hell. Life on his reserve of St. Teresa Point First Nation quickly spiraled out of control. He was, um, you know, scared a little bit leery about opening up to people. There's some trust issues there. I think he was a kind of a bit of a lost kid. His issue was wasn't attending school. Socially wasn't connected. I guess I could say I was like biggest stoner you could ever see. So who's the villain of the piece? But a move to Winnipeg in a new school changed all that. Wood has given up drugs and become a model student. Quiet on set. And his passion for a video production class at Argyle Alternative High School has helped him win the chance to make his first film short, Finding Joe. The autobiographical tale is about a teenage boy who gives up smoking marijuana after a spiritual ancestor visits him in a dream, morphs into a wolf, and attacks him. A story Wood hopes will inspire others. My friends, I couldn't make them stop, but I can make people stop from starting. And that's why I decided to do this movie. The movie will have its official premiere at Winnipeg's Aboriginal Film and Video Festival, a slot Wood won last year after earning second place for his idea at the Film Fest's pitch contest. But Wood's school instructors say pre-screenings of Finding Joe are already yielding results. I quit. Well, the rest of our division is uh, taking uh, a look at the film and I think we've, uh, uh, there's hundreds of copies that we've passed out to people who've wanted them, including the RCMP. Uh, they're looking at uh, the film as well too as a teaching tool. But the person who's benefiting from all this attention the most is Stanley Wood himself. Well, it made me realize the type of person I actually am. And by finding that out, I knew what to work on. Finding Joe will be shown at the Aboriginal Centre at 7 o'clock on Friday night.